Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to practice with some great phrasal verbs. So let's take a look. First, let's compare the difference between the verb fold and the phrasal verb fold up. Why do we use up? In this case, we use up to say completely. When you fold something many times, you can use the phrasal verb fold up. And we see the difference between the verb tear and the phrasal verb tear up. Why do we use up? Why do we make the phrasal verb? Again, it's to say completely. If you tear something many times, you can use the phrasal verb and say tear up. It means you do it completely or more. First, let's look at the verb fold. Fold. I folded the paper. The action, fold. Fold in the present, in the past, folded. I folded the paper. But if I do it many times, fold up. I folded up the paper. Fold in the present, in the past, folded. I folded up the paper. I use the phrasal verb because I folded it many times. And it's a separable phrasal verb. If I have a pronoun, it, I have to put it in the middle. I folded up the paper. With the pronoun it, I folded it up. I folded it up. The T in it sounds like a fast T. I folded it up. Let's practice. Did I fold the paper? That's right, I folded the paper. Let's practice. Did I fold up the paper? That's right, I folded up the paper. Or I can use a pronoun, it. Did I fold it up? That's right, I folded it up. Let's look at some more examples. He folded the paper. Fold in the present, in the past, folded. Let's practice. Did he fold the paper? That's right, he folded the paper. And he's doing origami, so he's folding the paper many times. Now I can use the phrasal verb fold up. In the continuous form, folding. He's folding up the paper. He's doing origami. Let's practice. Is he folding up the paper? That's right, he's folding up the paper. Is he doing origami? That's right, he's doing origami. Let's look at the word origami. This is a Japanese word, but we have an American pronunciation. Ora, ora, origami. Four syllables, origami. Put the stress on the first syllable and the third syllable. Origami. He's doing origami. And what about this? What about laundry? What about shirts? He's folding it many times more than once anyway, but we don't use the phrasal verb here. We just say fold. He's folding the shirts or he's folding the laundry. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he folding the shirts? That's right, he's folding the shirts. Is he folding the laundry? That's right, he's folding the laundry. Good boy. Now let's look at the difference between the verb tear and the phrasal verb tear up. Example, you can tear the paper. It's easy to tear the paper. In the past, he tore the paper. And the participle is torn. I can use the participle as an adjective and say the paper is torn. Let's practice. Can you tear the paper? That's right, you can tear the paper. Is it easy to tear paper? That's right, it's easy to tear paper. Let's practice in the past. Did he tear the paper? That's right, he tore the paper. Now I can describe the paper and say the paper is torn. Let's practice. Is the paper torn? That's right, the paper is torn. What about the phrasal verb tear up? We use the phrasal verb tear up when you do it many times. 
when you do it a lot. This is tear up. It occurred to me to tear up the check, but I didn't. Can we just tear up the farms? Why did Mama do it? Tear up the pictures. Example. He can tear up the paper. It's okay. We don't need that paper. He can tear up the paper. Or if I use the pronoun it, I have to put it in the middle. He can tear it up. We don't need that paper anymore. He can tear it up. Or he can tear up the paper. If you, if, please, please, just, just tear it up and I will tell you everything, okay? Tear it up. No. Don't tear it up, huh? No. He told me to tear it up and throw it away. In the past, he tore up the paper. And if I use the pronoun it, I have to put it in the middle. He tore it up. We hear the T and it sound like a fast D. Tore it, tore it, tore it up. He tore it up. Pieces. He tore it up and sprinkled it all over the hey, ground no. like Shut salt. Up. I see. And, uh, and you tore it up, did you? My father tore it up. She tore it up. I got a letter from your father today and I tore it up. I tore it up. Didn't open them. Tore them up, threw them in the fire. Your mama tore them up. He, uh, tore up the rest. I tore up all those checks. Cat, mama tore up our pictures. Just what were you doing when this comic opera queen tore up her constitution? Anyway, praying? You tore up her picture. She tore up her paychecks and she put a life at risk for you. And the participle is torn, so I can use that as an adjective and say, the paper is torn up. The paper is all torn up. Completely torn in little pieces. That's when we use the phrasal verb, tear up. And the adjective, the paper is all torn up. Let's practice. Can he tear up the paper? That's right, he can tear up the paper. It's okay, we don't need it. Can he tear it up? That's right, he can tear it up. We don't need it anymore. In the past, did he tear up the paper? That's right, he tore up the paper. And with the pronoun it, tear it up, in the past, tore it up, I asked the question, did he tear it up? That's right, he tore it up. Now I can describe the paper and say the paper is all torn up. Let's practice. Is the paper all torn up? That's right, the paper is all torn up. But it's okay, we don't need it anymore. It was old paper. Now let's compare these two phrasal verbs. The first one is tear up, like you tear up paper. And the second one is tear up, like when you cry. You cry one tear. It's spelled exactly the same, but it's pronounced differently. So let's look at pronunciation. The first phrasal verb is tear up. We use the air sound like hair and chair, tear, tear up the paper. And the second one is tear. We use the ear sound like hear and beer, tear up. What is the phrasal verb tear up? It means when you cry, but just a little. You're not really crying. Maybe there's one tear or two tears, or you just get a little water in your eyes. That's tear up, the phrasal verb. In the present, tear. In the past, teared. So it's a regular verb, just put ed. Tear up in the present, teared up in the past. Link the sounds. Link the d sound, teared, to the next sound, uh, in up. Teared up, dup, dup, teared up. She teared up. She cried a little bit. Maybe one tear, maybe two tears. Why did she tear up? She teared up because she was watching a really sad movie. So she teared up a little. And I can use a phrasal verb in a continuous form, tearing. Right now, in this moment, she's tearing up. She's tearing up because she's sad. Are my eyes tearing up? Because sometimes I can't tell. It was just, it was a beautiful moment in my life. I teared up. Let's practice. Why is she tearing up?
That's right. She's tearing up because she's sad. Let's practice in the past. She teared up. Link the sounds. She teared up. Why did she tear up? Was she watching a sad movie? That's right. She teared up a little because she was watching a sad movie. So remember the difference between the verb and the phrasal verb. If I say fold, that's one time, maybe two times. But if I say fold up, that's many times. Use the phrasal verb when you fold something many times. Fold up. But when you talk about clothes or laundry, just use the regular verb fold. Fold in the present, in the past folded. He folded the laundry. And remember, it's a separable phrasal verb. So if I use the pronoun it, I have to put it in the middle. I folded up the paper or I folded it up. I folded it up. Why did I fold it up? I folded it up so I could put it in my pocket. Let's practice. Why did I fold it up? That's right. I folded it up so I could put it in my pocket. And remember the difference between tear and tear up. You tear a piece of paper one time, but if you tear it many times, use the phrasal verb tear up. And it's a separable phrasal verb. So if you use the pronoun it, put it in the middle. Tear it up. Tore it up. Tear it up in the present. Tore it up in the past. And remember the difference between these two phrasal verbs. The first one is pronounced tear, tear up, like you tear up paper. And the second one is tear, tear up. When you cry just a little, maybe one tear, maybe two tears, you tear up. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.